Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and tonight I wanted to talk about why women gain weight after coming off of birth control. Now, the caveat on this question, because I've gotten this question a lot in the past couple of months, um, just in different forms, so I wanted to condense a lot of these questions into sort of one general question. The really tough thing about this question is that there's no one answer for anybody that's going to fit everyone, right? Why? Because every body is different. How your body is going to react is going to be different than somebody else's. And <laughs> there's different types of birth control. Some women gain a ton of weight when they're on like a Nuva ring or something like that. Or if they get a shot, some women don't. Some women gain a ton of weight when they're on a pill and lose it after. Some women, oh yeah, I gained a little bit of weight on the pill. And then I went off of it and I thought it would be fine. But holy crap, I gained a ton of weight after. What happened, right? And while there is no one easy answer to this, um, weight gain after the pill, it, it depends on a lot of things. So the tough thing about this is that there's, I, I mean, I'm gonna give you some things to look at and just kind of talk about this in general to give you information, but in no means is this going to be a one size fits all answer. <laughs> Hi, Veronica. Um, so if you are looking for more information, more answers, something like that, um, the spring group that I have the, for the 12 week challenge is full, but I do have some slots to work with me in a very close one-on-one -on -one setting. I'll put a link here um, in case you're interested in filling that out and learning more about what that looks like. But this is where I help tailor and tweak and navigate everything. Oftentimes it includes a Dutch test, it includes really diving into what you have going on in your system to get you the fastest, most effective result possible. So. With that being said, there is no one answer for everybody, but it's different for everyone. So for example, say you started on the pill when you were 14, you know, 13, 14 years old, your body isn't even done growing yet, right? Right? So of course, if you go off the pill 12 years later, yeah, you're gonna have gained weight. <laughs> you're literally older and in an adult body versus a teenage body. Shocker, because a lot of people, a lot of women get stuck on this fact, well, when I was 16, I weighed 120 pounds, and now that I'm 35, I weigh 135 pounds. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> you're an adult body now, like a real adult body. That's not, you shouldn't weigh the same as when you were 16. Because, uh, yeah, anyway. In my book, The Female Fat Solution, I talk about, I'm laughing because this is like, to me, like, oh my God, I can't believe that we expect this of ourselves, right? Or this is like a thing people talk about. Oh yeah, I weigh the same as I did. Why? You shouldn't. You shouldn't, you know. In, in my book, um, which is on Amazon, there's a whole segment that's called The Seven Bodies of Eve, where I talk about different bodies you go through in your life and how to navigate that, right? Okay, but so for example, you know, going on the pill when you're a teenager, coming off of the pill later in life, you know, it, it really does depend um, on a lot of these different things in your situation, your scenario. If you look up a bunch of information, they'll be like, oh, the weight gain is from water weight. Mm. <sighs> sure, sure. But for those women that have gained like 30 pounds, like really 30 pounds of water weight, and that's it. That's going to be the only reason that you've gained. I'm like, that's feels like a stretch. That wouldn't be anything else involved in there. Right? Mm, yeah. Being on some type of hormonal birth control. The thing to realize is that those hormones go everywhere in the body. They affect everything. They, they pass through the blood brain barrier, which means it affects how your brain functions a little bit because it go, they go everywhere and they do all the things. <laughs> So keep in mind that, yeah, it does impact a lot of different systems. That's absolutely a thing. Yeah. And so don't be, um, you know, I don't want to say alarmed, but can you do an HPA access dysfunction video? I can, Debbie. I'm going to put that on my list. Um, so don't be alarmed if you're like, oh, well, it shouldn't do this or that because whatever. I'm like, no, those hormones go everywhere. They shift and change how your body works and functions. So yes, it's going to have an impact on things from there on out, right? Oftentimes what happens for women is that overall it slows your metabolism down, right? Our bodies are meant to be fat storing machines anyway. Hi puppy. Hi. Yeah, he likes to come sit with me when I do videos sometimes. And now he's looking for a toy. Um, 
So your body is a fat storing machine and just with being on something that's gonna control your hormones, it also can slow down your metabolism. Also realize that nutrient depletion also can play a huge role in this, huge role in this. Why nutrient depletion? Well, some of the number one side effects that affect women when they go on birth control, especially the pill, are from nutrient depletion. Your system gets depleted in very specific nutrients. <laughs> yeah, right? You're like, what? What do you mean? What? Yeah, yeah, because of what those, that hormonal shift in your body with being on a birth control of some kind, your body can become really nutrient depleted, which has a whole other like gamut of response. If you're nutrient depleted, do you have a slower metabolism? You sure can, right? Does it affect your performance? Heck yes, it does. Heck yes, it does. Yeah, loss of muscle, yeah. Can this lead to this? Yes, can this be a thing on its own? Yes, right? Even without the nutrient depletion being, um, being on birth control of some kind, it can cause loss of muscle. That is also gonna decrease your performance. So if you're an athlete, if you're training for something, and right now, right, we're like, huh, what do we do? We're at home, right? Um, do whatever you can weight bearing. That's going to be the key. That's going to be really, really important to really add. I don't care if it's body weights or whatever. You got to work those muscles. If you can't get to a gym, I don't, I don't care. Like find a heavy laundry basket and do squats with it. Do something. There's so many home workout videos right now that people are doing. Do them, do them. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes. Because that loss of muscle is a really big thing associated with birth control and this is a true statistic. Women on birth control actually decreases their performance, their athletic performance, by 11% across the board. Yeah, that means 11% slower. 11% your vertical is lower, right? 11% you don't have the stamina, the endurance. Yeah, that's a big difference. If you take two athletes that have been training following the same training protocol, all these other things, but one of them's on birth control, they're gonna be 11% less. Ugh, what? That's how much it impacts our bodies and our systems, right? But along with that loss of muscle that we have, what does that trigger in the female body? Increase of fat, right? So not only have you just gained weight, you've also increased your body composition. That's harder to shift, harder to change. So maybe this wasn't like such a fun topic to cover tonight. I don't know, <laughs> but I've gotten some questions on this. We're like, Oh my God, I gained, my, I gained weight on the pill. I gained weight after the pill. I've gained weight with this and that. I'm like, yeah, it's a thing. And it, again, there can be many different reasons for you specifically. That's why I have that link in the comments for you to click, find out more. Um, but Oh my gosh, it really is. It's a tough thing to go through because it doesn't matter how much you work out right? If you're not really doing the right things nutritionally for your system at this point, there's a lot of very specific things to, to go around and really work with. Yes. Um, yeah. So anyway, so I will be doing, yeah, I've got a lot of comments on this. This is good. Um, HPA access dysfunction that it's thyroid hormones and adrenals and metabolism. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I will do that tomorrow. I'm going to write that down. All right, you guys, that's what I got for you tonight. Um, please let me know if you have any other questions. Again, other resources I have for you are my podcast, The Female Health Solution, and then um, my YouTube channel is Dr. Beth Westy. You can subscribe to that to stay updated on everything I have coming out, um, just so you stay up to date on all these things. And I am gonna be talking more about um, not only <laughs> HPA access dysfunction, because a, a, how stress can impact a lot of these things too, the addition of stress. It can shift and change your hormones, your body, how your system re reacts and responds. And I think it's important we just start aware of that as we move through this time right now. So that's what I got for you guys today. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your night. Let me know if you have any other questions or if it can be of another resource to you. And if you found this helpful, please share this with someone who you know that could use this message too. So have a great night.